<laughs> um, were you aware of Sandy Monroe's true motivation for selling his Tesla stock? News about Tesla is usually major news. It makes headlines on well-known TV shows and more importantly on websites and various social media platforms as a result. Many people are keeping a close check on anything, or in this case, anybody connected to the top electric car manufacturer, including its shareholders, you'll learn the true reason behind Sandy Monroe's sale of all his Tesla stock in today's video. Tesla is an American clean energy and automobile firm that develops, designs, builds, rents, and sells electric cars. Many analysts consider it to be the top EV company. Tesla announced a record-breaking quarterly net income of $3.3 billion on April 20, 2022, surpassing Wall Street projections. The company's revenue increased by 81% year over year to $18.8 billion. This and other items that made headlines could be the reason why individuals are interested in investing in Tesla. <laughs> Sandy Monroe is one of the many bulls for Tesla. Uh, but unlike others, he sold his Tesla investments. This move led to a great deal of conjecture. Sandy Monroe is a frequent lecturer and advisor on change implementation and creative growth tactics to some of the world's leading leaders. Uh, despite having started his career in the automobile and aircraft industries, he has worked closely with suppliers to several multinational organizations. Sandy has a special advantage in the field of technology transfer because of his broad experience and understanding across almost all areas of the manufacturing business. In Windsor, Ontario. Sandy started out as a toolmaker and worked his way up to become a designer. Eventually, he was promoted to engineer manager at the internationally renowned specialty tool manufacturer, Valiant Machine Tool Manufacturer. After a while, he worked for Ford Motor Company, where he met Dr. E. Deming, an American engineer, statistician, professor, author, lecturer, and management consultant. He moved from designing machine tools and automation to manufacturing engineering. When Dr. Deming persuaded Sandy, to Lee Ford and launch his own business, Monroe and Associates Incorporated in 1988. His entire career was transformed. Since then, Monroe and Associates Incorporated has assisted producers of a wide range of goods, including toys, appliances, cars, medical equipment, and electronics in saving an estimated $50 billion and keeping or relocating hundreds of thousands of jobs to North America. Given his depth of knowledge, it is understandable why Monroe stirs things up with every move. In this instance, the selling of his whole interest in the top electric car manufacturer, when they heard this news, people had become restless. Yes. Uh, but why did the veteran and auto manufacturer sell his Tesla shares? Has he stopped believing in the promise of the EV company? Or was there another reason? But he clarified this and discussed his thoughts on Tesla's future in an interview. In recent interviews, the automotive production specialist discussed Tesla's future and provided an explanation for his actions. What made him sell his Tesla stock then? Does he still think highly of Tesla? Some speculate that at, uh, investing in one company at the expense of others does not seem right, given that Monroe and Associates work on cars from multiple manufacturers. To maintain the impression of independence, Sandy Monroe sold all of his Tesla stock and made no other auto investments. In the aforementioned interview, he clarified that in order to demonstrate his objectivity as a product appraiser and corporate observer, he felt it was imperative to have no equity in the business. Uh, even though this makes sense, other people are unconvinced and assert that similar to Musk. Monroe only made the news to grab media attention. Some claim that Musk and Monroe are two sides of the same coin since they both enjoy stirring up controversy to get attention to their businesses. Nevertheless, given his Lengthy experience with the Evy company's contentious CEO, Monroe's remarks regarding his continued confidence in the company's stocks make sense. Do you also think Sandy Monroe is now an objective observer as a result of this action? Please uh, share your thoughts with us by posting a comment below. In other news, Monroe claimed that when it comes to making changes to production cars on the fly, Tesla is at least 10 years ahead of the competition. The engineer claims that Tesla manufactures a product that is presumably 90, 95% there and uses a tactic that basically involves waiting until customers complain before making quick changes. Uh, it should be recalled that Monroe blasted the idiocy and prejudice handling of Tesla FSD just a year ago. In his opinion, Tesla is the industry leader and finest in autonomous driving and driver assistance. He said that Congress and the NITS were being incredibly foolish to investigate Tesla for its self-driving technology. If the United States slows down Tesla's invention, it will be like shooting itself in the foot. Uh, Monroe claimed that EVs have considerably fewer fires than cars with internal combustion engines, 
Cars with driver assistance and self-driving capabilities are becoming safer. The best strategy to drastically cut the 1.3 million car-related deaths annually is to do this. Despite his decision to sell his shares, the engineer continues to provide updates about Tesla on his different media platforms, demonstrating his faith in the firm. Indeed, Sandy Monroe just declared on Monroe Live that the Made in Texas Met Tesla model uh, with Tesla's 4,680 type cylindrical battery cells will soon be disassembled and analyzed. One MIT Tesla Model I Model I in Florida was previously identified as having been purchased by Monroe and Associates, suggesting that it is likely one of the vehicles that Tesla is selling from its current stock. Uh, the aforementioned video claims that the process will begin immediately with the installation of the new battery pack, which is the largest modification made to vehicle. With any lucky, the investigation will provide additional information regarding Tesla's most recent battery, which is anticipated to have a useful capacity of over 67 kilowatt hours in the case of the MI Tesla model. Um, it's interesting to note that a portion of the packs around 800 cells will be for sale. Although pre-orders are already being accepted, the cost of each device is extremely high at $8,000. As of right now, Tesla manufactures the 4,680 type batteries internally in the United States. But as far as we know, other vendors are getting ready to ramp up manufacturing. Panasonic has started building production lines and shipping samples of the new cells. Samsung's die is said to be building a pilot line while LG Energy Solutions announced the opening of a production line. The internet went viral when word spread out about Tesla's battery technology and bullish factor breaking state boundaries and announcing the opening of a Panasonic facility in Japan the following year. It is anticipated that Panasonic, a long-standing partner of Tesla, will make investments in new machinery and manufacture the 4,680 battery. It is estimated that the investment is 80 billion yen, or roughly $704 million. Uh, some rumors state that it might increase the size of the current Japan factory to manufacture the aforementioned batteries. Three, of course. There are other areas of interest besides the new battery structural pack and new cells, such as mega casting in the front and rear and possibly other breakthroughs that haven't been found yet. Nevertheless, Sandy Monroe is confident that many ardent Tesla fans will witness the removal of the battery pack and the seats, which in the most recent model are affixed to the top of the pack from the vehicle. A fascinating talk about Adria's gigapresses in the Italian Idris factory will be about mega casting. It is anticipated that the one for the Tesla Cybertruck will be able to support 9,000 tons. Uh, it is commonly known that despite global challenges, Tesla initiated and carried out the construction of the Tesla Gigafactory with the goal of expediting the global shift to sustainable energy by offering ever more cheap electric automobiles and energy supplies. The building of the Tesla Giga Nevada was completed. The lithium ion battery and electric car component factory known as Tesla Giga Nevada or Tesla Gigafactory is located in Story County, Nevada, as it is anticipated to be the world's largest building and run entirely on renewable energy to attain net zero energy. Uh, the goal of this structure is to address Tesla's battery issue with a projected footprint of more than 1.9 million square feet. This gigafactory intends to increase manufacturing to 500,000 more automobiles each year. All things considered, even investors and experts with decades of combined expertise have different opinions about Tesla and its stock, some people overlook the company's many setbacks and concentrate on its promise, but others view such obstacles as a major barrier to the business's success. Nobody can dispute, however, that the stock market is as unpredictable as they come. Everything is still based on educated assumptions, forecast, and conjecture. Check out our other videos on our channel for more information about Tesla stocks.